Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing my new Blu-ray DVD shopping guide and reviews for Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. As always, I'd love to hear uh, if what you guys are picking up or if you guys have seen any of these, what you thought of them. One thing just to talk about real quick before we get into the video, I did get Josie and the Pussycats, the complete series on Blu-ray, so I will be reviewing this one again. First up, we have Hosts. This one is releasing on a DVD. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $19.99. Dark Sky Films did send me over a copy of Hosts for review, and I did post an unboxing of that. If you'd like to check that out, just search for Hosts on my channel. So this movie was about this couple. They go to have this meal uh, with their neighbors, but before they get there, some sort of something takes them over. Uh, unfortunately, it's not really ever developed exactly uh, what these things are, but so they get there and they, they start acting really weird and uh, eventually they end up killing the mom and then kind of like holding everybody else captive and what their plan is i don't know like i felt it i felt like as a kind of like a home invasion capture kind of movie it, it was pretty good like i definitely uh liked what they were doing there and i mean they're they're being a little brutal but uh it was interesting and it made sense to me but when they threw in this kind of sci-fi like an alien taking over their body or something. I don't know. I just, I, they didn't really explain it too well. You never really knew what the motivation was um, and whatnot. So I just felt like the sci fi stuff, to me, it just, it, it, it wasn't developed enough. They, they didn't explain it. You're just supposed to accept somehow something took over their body and now they're going to, for some reason, kill these people some of them i don't <laughs> i don't know uh, i gave this one a two and a half like i said i thought it was an okay movie as like an invasion style movie or like a home invasion style movie but uh they just they needed to do explain more of this um what happened and, and i, I would have enjoyed it quite a bit more next up is guest house this one's releasing on a blu-ray and digital amazon and walmart 14.96 best buy 15.99 and Target $17.99. Lionsgate did send over a copy of Guest House for review, and I did post an unboxing of that. If you'd like to check that out, just search for Guest House on my channel. So I wish I could call this Polly Shore's triumphant return, but I don't think it's that. So a young couple is in the market to buy a house, and they're, I don't know, they're not liking the houses, and they see this house that's really nice, and they're like, well, yeah, we like it. You know, they're like, oh, we love this house. We'll buy it, you know. And then they find out that Polly Shore lives in the guest house. And, of course, he's this middle-aged man or possibly past middle-aged man who just, like, parties and drinks and does drugs. And, you know, he has this really weird kind of, like, all this junk everywhere. And uh, if they buy the house, he's basically included because that seems like a normal thing. So they, they're like, well, you know, we'll give you a couple weeks to move out or whatnot. And so, of course, they move in and things don't go too well and they're kind of clashing and, like, the police get involved and, you know, they're always, they keep saying, oh, we're in California, this is a strong renter's rights state and all this kind of stuff. And it basically ruins their lives and, um, you know, <laughs> of course, it has to follow the tried and true uh, story where everything gets a happy ending, you know. You know, I thought this movie was interesting. I definitely, you know, I thought it was fun and, it, you know, it had a good story and it was definitely entertaining. I didn't really find myself laughing too much. Like, I didn't think the jokes were there. Um, you know, it, it's it's too similar to many other movies, but, um, you know, it was a fun watch for sure. If you guys like Polly Shore and want to see him in something, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like the old Polly Shore, you know, with the ridiculous voices and all that, you know, and he was okay in it, but... Uh, overall, I just thought this movie was all right, maybe a little better than all right. Uh, I gave it a three out of five. Next up is Charlie's Christmas Wish. This one's releasing on a DVD. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target, $9.99. Walmart, no listing. Now, Lionsgate did send me over a copy of Charlie's Christmas Wish for review, and I did post an unboxing of this. If you like, check that out. Just search for Charlie's Christmas Wish on my channel. So this one did get this cool uh, kind of slip cover and I didn't even realize it but the director pointed out to me that this is not the dog from the movie not even a similar dog but uh, but uh, so this one 
is about this dog named Charlie. And Charlie is actually an angel. I don't think I'm giving away too much. Um, and so God sends him on this mission. And this little boy adopts him from the pound or, or whatever it was. And he brings him home. And his dad uh, ends up coming home like five weeks early or something from uh, the army or whatever he was in. And he has PTSD. And, you know, he doesn't like the dog. He wants a, he wants a big manly dog. You know, I, I, me too. I want a big dog. I don't want a little dog. And so then the story kind of develops into this town has a, a large population of war veterans who are all homeless. And um, the people have to kind of band together to uh, help these uh, ex-soldiers. This is a really great story and I felt like it was a good kind of family-friendly movie, uh, feel good or or even like a life lesson, you know, to, to teach anybody really that, um, you know, sometimes people come back from war and they're not the same. And, you know, a lot of times they don't know what to do and they, and they kind of just end up like falling through the cracks as they say. And um, I think this country does have a problem um, with, making sure veterans have the care they need and uh, making sure these people are, are taken care of, you know. Um, and I, I feel like that's a lot of the aim of this movie is to kind of just bring light to this situation. The movie to me is a little cheesy. You got a talking dog and it's talking to God and, uh, <laughs> you know, you know to overall, you know, it's a, a little bit of cheesy, but I think family friendly movies like this, you know, kind of end up cheesy like that. Um, and then some of the story to me, I didn't feel like it was connecting all the way. Um, just just seemed like things would rapidly change without a whole lot of explanation. It wasn't a big deal, but as an adult, I kind of question like the dad has really bad PTSD and then he's fine. And I'm like, how did he get to that point? You know, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily uh, shown in great detail. But, uh, you know, like I said, a fun, family-friendly movie. I give this one a 3 out of 5. Next up is Bill and Ted Face the Music. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon Best Buy and Target $19.99. Walmart $24.96. Also releasing on a DVD. Amazon Target $17.99. Walmart $19.96. And Best Buy $22.99. Now, Warner Brothers did send me over a copy of Bill and Ted Face the Music for review. I did post unboxing of this. If you like, check that out. Just search for Bill and Ted on my channel. So this one, of course, is many, many years after the last one. This is the third movie in the franchise. You had uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and now Bill and Ted Face the Music. Now, I kind of feel like this movie was made, you know, and they kind of tried to do a lot of fan service. Unfortunately, I'm not super familiar with the other two. In fact, I don't remember the last time I've ever seen them. But, um, you know, I just feel like they did a lot of stuff in this. Uh, really for the fans and so uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with the movies or not a fan of the movies I feel like you're not going to get in on a lot of the jokes and a lot of the stuff going on in this movie so basically what happens we catch up to Bill and Ted and they're kind of older guys you know and they're they're like having marital problems probably because like their their marriages are like a foursome you know everything's done together there's not really um, like two couples it's just four people kind of like and so they end up finding out that they have to uh, perform this song that's gonna save the world and I think this probably was mentioned in another movie like they unite the world with this song and they're like their music careers have like completely fallen apart um, and they're they're not really into music or they're not doing well in music and so they somebody comes from the future to to tell them that they need to do this and they only have like 75 minutes I think it is to do it and to me I was a little confused because it's like well if you can time travel don't you have unlimited time but Somehow all time was going to converge at this one point, 75 minutes from now. <laughs> and so they end up like, they don't know what the song is. They don't know um, how to write it. They don't know anything about it. So they have to go through time and kind of um, meet themselves until they find themselves that have wrote the song and then steal it from themselves. <laughs> and... Uh, at the same time, their daughters are like assembling this band of like the greatest musicians of all time to help them play the song. To me, the part with the daughters was a little confusing because like, okay, they get Jimi Hendrix, okay. They get Louis Armstrong, okay. They get this drummer from the Stone Age. I'm like, is there really a record of this guy? Like, how do they know who he was or he would be there? <laughs> like, is he really a famous drummer? Like, I don't know what the heck the deal was with that. 
Uh, and then they get like a flute player and I'm like, well, I don't know. Are they going to collect every instrument ever made? Like they don't even know the song. How do they know what instruments they need? And so of course, you know, this movie was funny. There was lots of good jokes in there. I wouldn't say it was hilarious by any means, but it was definitely funny. I did laugh quite a bit uh, in this one. Um, and I thought it was a fun movie and, and overall, you know, kind of had a feel good ending and you know, I definitely enjoyed it, guys. I gave this one a three and a half out of five. Next up is Mortal, releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $14.96, Target $14.99, and Best Buy $15.99. Also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Target $12.99, Best Buy $13.99, and Walmart no listing. Next up, I Met a Girls, releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon $14.99, Walmart $24.99, Best Buy and Target no listing. Also releasing on a DVD, Amazon $13.29, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart all no listing. Now I did already review this one guys, you can check it out by just searching for I Met a Girl on my channel. I gave this one a three and a half out of five, it was kind of like a, a romance kind of thing. But it was pretty interesting, a little confusing, I don't think they really gave quite enough uh, into the story to really, uh, <laughs> to really make it a concrete kind of thing, but you know, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, next up is The Special, releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Best Buy $14.99, Target and Walmart, no listing. I did review this one already. Uh, if you want to check that out, just search for The Special on my channel. I did give it a three and a half out of five. It was a very different kind of movie, very interesting. Um, I don't want to say too much more if you're interested. Uh, search for my review on that one. Uh, next up is Blade Iron Cross. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon and Best Buy, $14.99, Walmart, $21.95, and Target No Listing. Also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Best Buy, $8.99, Walmart, $14.95, and Target No Listing. Next up is Shit's Creek, the complete collection. I'm not sure why they're calling it the complete collection and not the complete series. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, it is releasing on a DVD. Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, $39.99, Target, $44.99. Next up is Spontaneous. I'm pretty sure this one's releasing. Um, I didn't ever heard any information about it, but uh, it appears to be listed on Amazon as releasing uh, on a DVD and digital. Amazon on Target, $12.99, Best Buy, $13.99, and Walmart, no listing. I did review that one already. Of course, you can check it out by searching for Spontaneous on my channel. I gave it a three out of five. It was kind of a kind of like a sci-fi horror romance <laughs> kind of thing about uh, these kids who were like exploding and uh, they didn't really know what was going on. It was an interesting movie. Uh, I didn't feel like it, w it went too far either way. Uh, it's, it's definitely one to check out, I think. Uh, next up, now for a couple movies and TV shows and whatnot that I had to catch up on. Uh, Lionsgate sent me over Grant for review. This is a mini series. Uh, it's a little over four hours. Yeah, a little over four hours. There's three episodes, like one's like an hour, the other two like an hour and a half. And it follows the life of Ulysses S. Grant. And kind of like, he goes in a little bit to his childhood, into uh, military academy, and then uh, him joining the the army, or I don't, I don't remember what it was called, but, um, you know, and then he kind of leaves, and life's not going too good for him, and then he ends up uh, kind of becoming, like, the hero of the Civil War. It's definitely very interesting, guys. I have to admit that I didn't know most of or a lot of what was in this. But as you get older, you kind of realize there's more history every day, and a little leaves and a little comes and you know it's definitely interesting it's a mixture of um, kind of like documentary and reenactment um, I don't know what the guy's name is but the guy here who played um, Grant you know I thought he did a really good job in this and like he just seemed like the part uh, is really good I definitely enjoyed this one guys I really recommend this one I gave it a four out of five next up Universal sent over Save Yourselves for review, and I did post an unboxing of that. Like, check that out. Just search for Save Yourselves on my channel. Now, this one was about this couple who decide they don't want cell phones and they don't want internet, and they're just gonna kind of reconnect for a week, and they're gonna just leave all the modern conveniences and you know, <laughs> you know, whatever phone lines and internet and all this kind of stuff behind, and they're gonna go stay in this cabin for a week. And okay, that's a, that's an okay start, and. Uh, so they get there and there's like this alien invasion while they're gone and they don't really know anything about it and like people are being killed and, and whatnot and they don't really know what's going on and that's like kind of the majority of the movie and it's kind of just like exploring these annoying millennials uh, spending this week together and then towards the end they finally find out about the alien invasion and you know they have to face off against some of the aliens and they're trying to figure out what's going on and you know it's all interesting i definitely enjoyed it but the ending on this guys it you just <laughs> so bad like there's just no answers there's no answers for 
anything that happens in the movie. They don't even try to explain what happened. The ending, even like when it ended, I was just so shocked. They even put on the screen the end because you won't believe it's over. You're like, there's more. This isn't the end. But they, they put it on the screen so you will know it's over because you will not believe it's the end. It just kind of seems to end in the middle of the movie kind of thing and a very disappointing ending uh, i would have rated this one uh, at least a little bit higher because uh, you know i thought the movie overall was interesting um i gave it a three out of five like i said just the ending kind of ruins this one for me but but like i said before that it's interesting but to me i mean i <laughs> gotta end the movie somehow uh warner brothers sent over head of the class the complete second season four review and i did post an unboxing of that if you like check that out just search for head of the class on my channel if you guys haven't seen the show it's about these uh really smart kids in new york and they're in this class it's the individual honors program or something like that and they they kind of uh, have this teacher who isn't like a genius but he's you know he's smart but he's not a genius like them and he's got to teach them all life lessons basically in every episode and they're all kind of they're kind of nerdy and, they, and they're not really uh too savvy socially and you know he's got to help fix them and you know it's a fun show i definitely like this season better uh, than season one i feel like they're they're a little more comfortable here and it's very interesting um i definitely like it i, f I feel like you know uh, some of the things they do in this really wouldn't hold up today because of uh pc-ness but um you know i like it i gave it three and a half out of five last thing up warner brothers sent over Josie and the Pussycats, the complete series on Blu-ray. Now, this show is a little strange because it feels like a ripoff of Scooby-Doo. Uh, you got similar characters, similar voices, similar sound effects, similar music, similar plots <laughs> um, with different characters, kind of. And so what it is is uh, Josie and the Pussycats from the Archie comics, and they're like, I don't know, I guess going to these performances or something. They're always going somewhere. And on the way, they, they always run into some sort of bad guy or you know instead of a monster like in scooby-doo it's always a bad guy somebody trying to do something weird and they got to stop them and you know they they all gotta work together to to stop this person and you know i think it's fun you know it's probably just a little bit below scooby-doo because uh you know scooby-doo's the greatest but uh, you know it's definitely fun and interesting and um the Blu-ray, so I did check out the DVD and the Blu-ray, and I feel like they cleaned it up quite a bit in the Blu-ray. The um, Just the, the clearness and the resolution are definitely improved on the Blu-ray, so I feel like if you guys want to watch this, uh, you're definitely best off picking up this Blu-ray for, for a better picture quality uh, over the DVD. I did give this one a 3 out of 5. That is it for me this week, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check the test videos, and for more movie videos, check my website, bossmanreview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.